Alright, are we live now? That's a good question. Trying to work out the technical details about how to start this live stream. Alright, yeah, looks like looks like the stream is live. So yeah, hello everybody. Welcome to the live stream. Uh, today we're just going to be sort of taking a look at uh, the Procreate 5, the update. I'll be answering some of your questions, if you have any questions about the program. And otherwise, just kind of sort of keep it loose. Maybe draw something, maybe look at some features, whatever you want. So, uh, first of all, hello everybody. I see that a lot of you are joining in, so welcome. Welcome to the stream. So, to start off, let's just go ahead and create a new canvas and reduce the brightness of the background here. Creative Vision says, looking forward to the new features. Yeah, yeah, me too, absolutely. There's some awesome features in here and uh, I think you're really gonna enjoy it when it comes out. So, Starting in no particular order, let's just go with the first feature that I'm going to talk about now, which is the reference feature. So this is basically, this basically allows you to sort of keep a reference scale of the canvas. So for the first feature here, well, for the first feature here, we have canvas and we have image and then we have face. For the canvas, basically just allows us to sort of keep an overview of whatever what we're doing. We can zoom in, do the details. Just a, you know, it's a nice, nice feature so that you don't sort of get out of the workflow uh, when you're doing the micro details. You can just keep an eye on it. Really nice. Next one up here is image. Now these touch controls are uh, a little bit too sensitive. Uh, but if we tap on image, obviously we can just import an image here and uh, look at that while we draw. And uh, that's pretty self-explanatory how that works. It just allows you to have the image sort of over here, right? So we pick this image, for example, and you know, study the details. If we're looking for any particular texture or um, any particular color, we can just go ahead and pick up this color right here. And now we can draw with this color. Let's pick up this one. And uh, yeah, just an overall nice workflow feature. Next one up is face. And this one works really well if you point it at your face. And now I can basically draw it directly on my face. I think you've probably seen this. Um, by now, right? But uh, hello, <laughs> might be able to see me there. Now, there are a few things about this feature, this face feature. Um, I think this is going to be really helpful for those that you know, maybe haven't studied anatomy and the uh, the facial features of the skull and uh, how. Uh, how that all works. So you can just basically just use your face, do whatever expression that you're uh, gonna be drawing, and then composite that into uh, the artwork. So uh, I see some new comments here. Helena Brass, hi from Canada. Hey Helena, welcome. Barry Mason says hello. Hello to you too. All right. Um, Oh yeah, let's try, let's try one thing. This thing right here, so. Let's do a new text layer. And let's add text. And yeah, you see there's no keyboard that appears over here. That's because we can just sort of erase it away and write whatever we want. So we can write live stream will this work i think it's appearing in black but yes that worked 
Awesome. Live stream. Increase like so. And hmm, we need it to be in the middle. So let's turn on the snapping. Let's try to see. There is the middle. Awesome. Okay. Now let's go ahead and duplicate this to have a backup. Uh, when is 5x going to be released? Well, 21st of September is what they've announced. So we can expect to see it there. I like the first part of it and the picture one. Face, I'm not sold on yet. Yeah, I guess it sort of depends on the workflow. Uh, how you go about drawing faces. If you're into traditional sketching, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I think it could be useful regardless. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and check out some of the new uh, image effects. So how about the glitz one? And here we see uh, this new functionality where we can apply this effect on a layer or with a pencil. And I'm just going to choose the pencil right here. And uh, yeah, we can just draw over it like so. And ah, I went a little bit too high there, so just going to do the eraser and take it away where I don't want it. Sort of like so. And now we can change this effect using these settings right here. Do a few other things like wave. What does wave do? Let me see if I can get that working. Oh, there we go. So it basically does this sort of thing. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, good, good point. Uh, to use that uh, text feature um, where we wrote directly on the text canvas, or for example, if you want to rename, oh, if you want to rename this, and you want to write in it, um, you have to have the iOS 14. So, iOS 14. Huh. Okay, it placed it in between. Awesome. So we can away iOS 14 <laughs> close enough <laughs> 10714 sure anyways so yeah you have to have iOS 14 for this uh, to be able to work all right um, we got the glitz feature on this layer and you might notice now that as soon as we applied the glitz feature, this is no longer a text layer. This has been rasterized and uh, we can't really go back and change the text afterwards. But we did take a backup, so we can always go back to that. But uh, it's just something to have in mind. As soon as you start using any of the adjustments, uh, you'll rasterize the layer. You can add a bit of chromatic aberration. Let's do the middle here and add just a little bit to the edges. Oh, palette creator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a that's a super super nice feature. I'll, I'll just, yeah, let me do that actually. So now we have color color operation in the sides over here. Pretty cool. But let's add a new layer. And I'm actually gonna go into Canvas uh, drawing guide. Make sure that the symmetry drawing guide is enabled. And I'm gonna choose one of the brushes from uh, my impossible brush pack. Links uh, links to everything in the description. But uh, as, as soon as we start drawing with this, uh, we can see it's mirroring over there. Now that's not our new feature, but um, we need some color in this. So let me start by just doing something like this. Okay. 
Okay. Not exactly sure what this is supposed to be, but uh, let's go with it. Sort of like this. Okay. Hmm. Something like this. Okay. Now let's color this in. So I'm going to create a new layer. Make that a clipping mask. So anything that I draw on this layer will only be shown on this layer right here. So we need some color in this, right? Now what colors do we have laying around? Uh, well, we have the background over here. Um, yeah, let's just try that. So basically, if we tap on the palettes over here, go into palettes um, and tap on the plus button, we can now create a palette using a camera or any file or a photo. Not any file, but you know, files that Procreate supports. So let's try the camera. And you see, it's just black, but as soon as we lift it up, um, it's gonna be a little bit tricky to show it on. Oh, there we go. Okay, let me try. See that? So now we can just use this as the palette. How about that? How about that? That is pretty cool. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and draw something on this layer. Now I might need to reschedule the stream again. We can maybe do it tomorrow. Um, there seems to be a thing that I have to do right now uh, that just come up. But uh, let's just do a bit of this. So I'm drawing on on the layer right here. And we can go ahead and choose this color over here. And yeah, you get the idea. You can create really simply color palettes using the camera. Just point it at anything in your house or on your table. and. Uh, yeah, that is that. So, something like this. All right, let me check out the, the chat over here. How can you up, upload new version of Procreate? Uh, how can you update? Well. The update will be live probably uh, 21st. So, that tomorrow? Yeah, that's tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, a few other things. Let's check out these two and let's just go ahead and flatten them down. And as we as we transform it, you can see now we have the little icon over here, allowing us to readjust uh, the bounding box around this. So if you go ahead and, and turn this, for example, and click away, you see now the bounding box has shifted. So we can just go ahead and refine best place. And sort of like that. Right, let me do one thing and see. Yeah, a few other things. We have the gradient maps, of course. These have been added and we can apply those as a layer or um, with, the, with the pencil tool. And of course the, yeah, so uh, in order to preview with it, with or without, just tap over here, preview. If you want to apply this, yes, or cancel. Now, 
I unfortunately have to leave right now to do another errand. Um, wasn't expecting this, but uh, I want to thank you all for coming. I'll be doing another live stream in the very near future where we, you know, just uh, take a little bit chill approach. Just going to draw something, use the features, and uh, other than that, um, thank you all for coming. Absolutely. Thank you so much for, for checking out the stream. But uh, see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.